Over the course of my working career, I've had many transitions where I've moved from one school to another. And when I'm preparing for those moves, of course, I need to prepare the next person who's coming in. And somewhere inside me, there's a little devilish bit that thinks, if the person who follows me is incompetent, then I am going to look amazing by comparison. But then I give my head a shake and I brush that little devil off my shoulder. Because the people that I work with, the staff and the students at that school, I care about them so much. They are so important. I can't be playing games with that. So I do everything I can to help the person who's coming in to replace me to figure out how to work in this school. How do we make things move? Who's got what interests so that they can be set up for success? Because that's a way of showing caring for the people around us. It just set them up for success, which then sets the people around them up for success. In this week's story in the Bible, Jesus is praying to God for his disciples. He's getting ready for a transition. He's about to, to leave our world. And so he prays for the disciples and talks to God about these wonderful people and about all the things that they're going to do and that he's asked them to do and the support that they will need as they're doing it. It's a way of Jesus showing how much Jesus cares about these people and about the people that they will be serving. So the question is, how do we follow Jesus' model? How do we show the people around us that we care for them? How do we set them up for success? 